Hey guys, this is Leo. I'm Chewing Gum bringing you another video. In this video, we're going to be visiting right over here, video game trading post here in Levittown, Long Island. We are, uh, you know, a few steps away from a little park over there. There's a pool over there. It's October, so obviously it's closed. And we're going to go in there and we're going to see what they got, see what kind of retro games they have, see what kind of new games they have. They say they buy, sell, trade. Uh, so let's take a look and uh, let's go. All right, so upon entering, you see the store. You can see the whole store straight up front. Uh, not the biggest size in store, but uh, still decent sized. Um, you see all the uh, PlayStation Vita systems here, PSP Vita systems, uh, PSP, PS Vita, uh, with their uh, perspective prices. You have switches here. You have old school Game Boys here. Uh, all at different prices we have you know obviously your standard i feel like it's a standard legend of zelda gold cartridge here uh you got super c i actually beat that game i beat super c i'm very proud of it didn't use the the uh the konami called the up, up down down left right left right didn't use it and i beat it uh, look at that flintstones game ah uh, kind of want to pick that up actually gotta find out how much that is that that flintstones game uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, loved that game as as I was growing up. So did I, so did uh, I. Also played the uh, Friday the Thirteenth game. Here we have F Zero, which the, I really need another F Zero Nintendo. I need a new F Zero. Uh, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Fighting Edition here. Uh, you know your standard Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario World game. Uh, we have some boxed Contra Three, The Alien Wars beautiful game super metroid super street fighter 2 super metroid over there uh, we have uh, star wars uh, a couple games here we have obviously your regular nes games here as well uh, let's see where else we can look at we have some genesis games here some sega genesis games uh all loose in cartridges i was just given this little thing by one of the workers here she gave me uh the video game trading post a uh, little card here they have a bunch of other uh, stores in bayshore and a couple malls tangent malls might have to go visit those bad boys we'll talk about that a little bit later uh let's just focus on the games here we have ps1 games over here uh probably the higher prices since they're back here uh, you have nfl blitz over there love that game so many so many have to really look at my collection as a as i was growing up as a kid to see what games i still have to see what games i need uh you know once I, once the man cave comes along you know you gotta get some games especially the ones that are really close to your heart so that scooby-doo game back there uh look at this blues brothers 2000 they made an, an n64 game for that I mean, I watched the movie. I was a big fan of the original Blues Brothers, but I didn't know they made a Blues Brothers 2000. I kind of want that game. <laughs> Damn, uh, you know what? I might, might have to pick that up. Uh, that's interesting. Um, wow. Uh, you got Earthworm Jim. You got Kirby, 1080. Uh, WCW, NWO Revenge over there. Uh, wow. Blues Brothers 2000, huh? 
Wow. I'm going to have to look at the eBay prices for that one. Uh, you got Super Smash Brothers, Pokemon Snap, Mario 64, uh, Mario Tennis, Mega Man 64, GoldenEye right there. Heading back to the front of the store, uh, we have a bunch of Pokemon trading cards here. All sealed, some plushies here, a bunch of uh, strategy guides for Final Fantasy, Soul Calibur, so many games. Crackdown 2, you got Dragon Ball Z, Tomb Raider, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. A lot of good strategy guides here. Um, I thought they were magazines at first, but they're just strategy guides. You have your Atari 2600, your NES, Super NES here, and the prices. That one's on sale for $120. You got a Super Famicom here for 100 bucks, And I'm sure they test all of these. You got your golden N64 right over there. Their summer sale for the GameCube. Uh, it's October, it's the fall, but you know, you know, it's summer somewhere. Summer somewhere, my love. Uh, right, we have some uh, PlayStation 2 games, some loose Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 3DS games here. Uh, you have some, oh, look at Mother right there for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, look at this. You got some uh, PlayStation Vita uh, loose games here. Uh, Jack and Daxter for $65 loose. Oof. I got that game, but I didn't pay that much. And I got it in a box complete. So, uh, won't be getting that. Hopefully, they have more PS Vita games somewhere. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. But they have a pretty good selection here of loose games here. If you're looking for any loose games. Uh, you know, you can take a, come, take a look here. You got Big Brain Academy. You got SpongeBob. You got, you got your, your, your dog game. Now let's see what they got for the PS2 over here. See if it brings back any memories of my childhood. You got all those systems up there. Your Xbox, the Wii. Oh, look at what we got here. We got DDR Max 2. I actually have the soundtrack for this. I actually have it in my car. Uh, maybe I'll edit it to the end of the video when I get back to my car. I definitely have the soundtrack for this bad boy. This, brought, this brings back a lot of memories. It's complete. I have this game somewhere. Uh, somewhere at my mom's house. Definitely have it. It's complete here, though, in a pretty good con condition. Um, yeah, I have the soundtrack for that in my car. Um, I love the music for that game. Very good. We have uh, Family Feud here. Didn't even know uh, the PS2 had one. Look, they even have online for Family Feud at the PS2 era online. I wonder how that worked, but look at that. It's time to play Family Feud. I don't know who that host is in the front, but... Uh, that's pretty interesting right there. Always, I always come to these stores and I always see games that I've never um, never heard of before. Uh, I'm not going to try to be as precise as I usually am in my other videos. I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter because I feel like I, I keep you guys here for so long looking at all these games and every row being particular. Uh, I like being particular. Max Payne, love the game. Love it, love it, love it. Would love a remake. Here we are, a bunch of sports games, you know, your, your regular, you know, old sports games. Like, you got NHL over here for the Genesis. You got Shaq Fool up there. Um, you got Super Street Fighter 2 here, NHL 97. Look at this, you got Pit Fighter. We actually got this game when I was a kid for the Super Nintendo. It was not the greatest game. Actually kind of horrible and hard and i don't think i ever beat it because the uh, last guy just was was too hard and it was an interesting game for the time you know the the characters did look like real people but uh the controls weren't the greatest and everybody fought very stiff uh you got ren and stimpy here that's a pretty cool game I think I always wanted this game because I saw that wrestling ring up in the top in the picture. And I was like, oh, you can wrestle in this game? I want this game. Never got it, though. Maybe one day. One day when I have more room at the house and I can start buying uh, stuff. When I have a man cave and I can display my games properly and not just in a box somewhere in storage waiting for the time to come. Look at this. A little volleyball action here for the Sega Genesis. One to two players. Look at that. Volleyball. What else do we got? 
look at that the rise and fall of wcw oof big wrestling fan here i'm a big huge wrestling fan so you got yankeeography over here that's pretty cool yankees made the playoffs yankees uh are in uh the playoffs and one step away from the world series so let's see what happens let's see if they can beat the houston astros tonight actually tonight tonight it's october 19th but uh you're here for video games not for uh yankee stuff but if you are a big fan of the new york, the new york yankees uh good for you we have psp games here <laughs> look at that wedding crashers I always forget they made movies in UMD format. The little discs for the PSP, for the PlayStation Portable. And a lot of people are collecting these movies. A lot of people are uh, collecting the physical versions of these UMD movies uh, for the PSP. Look at that, an iPad. I didn't even know there was a PSP camera. iPad. Interesting. Might have to ask around for that. That, that you know something my daughter might like hot shots tennis get a grip i didn't even know they made a hot shots tennis i thought it was just hot shots golf but uh i guess uh well i mean i guess uh, they made it yeah maybe i'll pick that game up so many games i'm picking up and this is how i start spending money and it's no no bueno no bueno indeed but you know you find some games and you want them smackdown versus raw 2011 for the psp look at john cena right there again huge wrestling fan as you can tell by my wcw thing it's very very big wrestling themed video here Ren and stimpy in a wrestling ring look at paul Heyman right there and a little blu-ray disc uh you got some amiibos up there i uh, got the splatoon three pack over there uh 30 bucks for that samus over there 30 bucks for the uh robot 35 for pikmin all right not not terribly priced not terribly not like ebay so that's that's pretty cool pretty cool pretty good to see um porky pig huge uh looney tunes fan over here huge uh always like to see these random super nintendo games of uh looney tunes characters like bugs bunny and stuff oh look at this another one tasmania like i said huge huge looney tunes fan here we go let's see got some xbox games over here now, I never had an Xbox, never had an original Xbox. So I don't have the nostalgia like some of you may have for the Xbox. So I tend to not look at that section as, as much. You got here Super Mario Sunshine. It's a little torn up here in the bottom, but there it is. Love that game. Very good game. They just remade it for or gave you like a little bit of a, you know, just like a little collection for the Switch. Uh, you have Nicktoons Unite here, one to four players. There's like a battle royale or like a 3D fighter or something. The battle is on. Let's see what we got here. Everyone is always so nice in these stores. They just let me record here. They probably think I'm weird with my, my camera out, just recording random games. And they're like, this guy just comes here and just spends so much time. I'm the only one in the store right now. Munch's Odyssey. Love the game. I love Dave's Odyssey for the PS1. Loved it. It was great. SSX Tricky. Great game. Great game. Didn't play it on the Xbox. I believe I played it for the PS1 or 2. Maybe the GameCube. Uh, we have some PS3 games here. What we got here we have payday 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 2 uh you know i bought that game i think for the ps4 i never played it it's probably wrapped up somewhere you got playstation all stars battle royale oh look at that a cross buy includes downloadable version for your ps vita well i got the ps vita version never played it i have yet to play it actually um i love super smash brothers i actually love multiverses right now that's just like super smash brothers with the warner brothers characters like bugs bunny and taz um for the looney tunes uh 
so I actually I'm enjoying that game. It's free to play. Uh, obviously, you know, you know, you you pay certain things for certain characters, or you can unlock them after playing for a while. But I love the game. It's it's great. You should check it out and uh, play with me. Play with me. Leo, I'm chewing gum. Also on PSN, you got Saints Row here, the United Saints of America. Always a, that was also a fun game. I loved uh, Saints Row. Sleeping Dogs by Square Enix, a great game. I played the remaster for the PS4. It was like Grand Theft Auto, Kung Fu, uh, martial arts. It was awesome. It's like uh, like Judgment. It's like Judgment. It's great. South Park, The Stick of Truth. You know, I, I played the second one with um, The Coon. I never played Stick of Truth. Um, little South Park RPG there. Um, maybe I, once I get a little bit more time, I'll play it. But there's just so many games coming out in October. You got Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Uh, you have God of War. You have Bayonetta 3 coming out. Uh, look at Uncharted. Uncharted 1 and 2 where it all started for Mr. Nathan Drake. Um, yeah, so many games coming out in October. You got the Mario and Rapids game, part two coming out. Oh my God, so many. You got Splatoon 3 that just came out. So many games, and I still have yet to play all, all the games that are on my backlog. Oh, and Silent Hill just got announced today. Right before I came to the store, I saw the Silent Hill 2 remake uh, trailer uh the silent hill f which is like a new experience for silent hill um it's yeah, silent hill 2 remake i loved silent hill 2 silent hill 2 was one of my favorite horror games amazingly scary psychologically scary it was great uh we have ghostbusters here ghostbusters 2 i was love looking at the uh artwork of these classic uh NES games. They had a Gilligan's Island, The Adventures of Gilligan's Island by Bandai, huh? I, I mean, I watched Gilligan's Island when I, when I was growing up. I didn't know they made a video game for it. I'm going to have to look it up and see if it's any good. <laughs> Start reviewing these random games uh, that I don't know of. Uh, you have oh, Monopoly Animal Crossing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. More PS1 games over here. More PS3 games here. Uh, but like I was saying, yeah, Silent Hill. Uh, two remake. There's a, Silent, a new Silent Hill movie coming out. Apparently based on part two. That's what it seemed like. Based on the, what the producer was saying. Uh, are you are you, are you a uh, Silent Hill fan? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for the new Silent Hill games. Uh, they they reviewed the, like three of them, I, I believe. Uh, very excited to see what Konami is going to do with them. And see what uh, the new games are all about. Uh... Let's see here. We have more test drive. Played a lot of test drive as I was growing up in the, on the PS1. NHL. You got some Wii, Wii steering wheels over here. You got the Wii games right over here. A little Wii section here. Wii Play. Wii U games here. Wii U. Very underrated underappreciated system i loved my wii u loved it i still want nintendo to have a uh, trophy system look at this crash of the titans never even knew this was a game don't even know if it's any good the only games i know are one two three and then four the one that just came out uh and that's it and the remakes the little uh remakes that came out for one two and three uh we have more xbox 360 games now the xbox 360 i had because my brother had it uh, while i was in college he loved fable uh, i played it here and there uh i believe i was in college when it came out so i was uh i uh didn't get much time to play it because i was just uh busy with schoolwork so i was not i, I never got into it as much i actually took a probably a hiatus from gaming at the time because i was so busy studying and doing other things and going out with friends and discovering parties and stuff uh <laughs> but there's halo <laughs> um let's see bunch of maddens over here minecraft on there nba 2k 
Call of Duty up here, Borderlands, Bioshock, Battlefield, and more systems up here in boxes. We have some random stuff here, a little Luigi, a Sega Genesis gun over there that looked like a uh, revolver. That was pretty cool. Didn't even know that existed. Oh, here we go. PlayStation Vita games. They're like randomly in the middle of something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games. They got Spider-Man over here. Decent condition, actually. Uh, I already have it, so I'm, I won't be picking it up. Uh, but it looks pretty decent. You know, pretty good. Uh, pretty good quality. Not too messed up when it comes to the box. We have some more loose uh, Game Boy games here. Game Boy Color games as well. All here. Oh, A Bug's Life. I remember that movie. Some uh, loose N64 games here. NBA, NBA Live, NASCAR. Mostly sports games here. Um, yep, V Rally. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, there's WCW, MWO. Some Nintendo DS games here. Um, nothing that's catching my eye. You got The Sims right over there. You have these two games right here. Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. I always forgot how uh, first-person shooters worked on a Nintendo system, especially the Nintendo DS. You know, you had to use your stylus to to shoot, which I thought was an interesting idea at the time. Uh, so, you know, it worked for what it for what it was. Uh, I still prefer the trigger and the uh, regular way of playing. Now I'm back here in the DDR Max 2 section. Uh, just re-looking at the back of this. Uh, I forgot to look back to the back of this box here. And... Uh, just looking at all these games. I never got the other versions of Dance Dance Revolution, but there's DDR Max 1, which I believe might be the first one that came out for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I had the mat and everything at the house. It was great. I loved it. Uh, there's Enter the Matrix right down there. DDR Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2. I'm about to, oh God, I'm trying not to spend money, but I want to buy every single one of them just because uh, I loved Dance Dance Revolution, if I didn't mention it before. Look at this, Carmen Sandiego, The Secret of the Stolen Drums. Wow, what a random game. Looks like a third person adventure game. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's any good. Got to start looking up at these games. And like I said, reviewing them, I uh, love finding random games like that. So the owner was nice enough to uh, bring out these loose PSP games to see if I could find a burnout loose game, and I couldn't. So there goes that. Um, look at that Jaguar over there. Look at all these boxed N64 games. See if I can go over there and get a, a closer look. Uh, there's the owner right there, and there's the other worker working on something. Should have gotten their names, but... Uh, didn't want to bother them too much. Didn't want to bother them too much. Digimon World over here. Some GameCube games over there. All right, here's a close-up of these games over here. You have a good amount. You have Zelda. You have Pokemon. You have, oof, F-Zero X over there. All right, well, as you can see, it's nighttime now. And uh, I finished, and I bought a couple PSP games and a little movie that I'll show you in the car once we get there. Uh, and that's about it. Let's see what we got, but I spent way too much time in there. All right, so here we are, video game uh, trading post. I found the Hot Shots Tennis for the PSP that I got for $7, which isn't bad. Wipeout Pure for the PSP wasn't bad. Uh, and uh, a little movie that I found there for a UMD movie for the PSP. I was looking for PS Vita games, but um, they didn't have much of a selection. Uh, and there it is. Happy Gaming, no cash refunds. But the prices were pretty decent. I found uh, Hot Shots Tennis, get a grip on the PSP. Very, very good, decent quality. And it is complete with a little 
manual here that looks absolutely gorgeous and in good condition. I think it even has the advertisement at the bottom for the PS3. Now $299 for the PS3. Woo! PS3, $299. Wow, what a what a ripoff now in uh 2022. But uh there it is. We have wipeout pure here. There it is. Also in very decent condition. Uh, big wipeout fan. I was looking for uh, Burnout for the PSP. We have that game, or I have it, but uh, at, once you get to a certain part of the game, it actually uh, freezes up. So I was never able to beat that game. Look at that Ape Escape, Off Road, and Wipeout Pure. You got the beautiful colors inside the booklet. I don't want to bend it because it's in actually pretty good condition. But look at that in color. And this game always reminded me of, of F-Zero. So, Nintendo, if you're watching this, please make another F-Zero. Thank you. And then this. I saw this randomly. I was looking for a loose copy uh, of Burnout, actually. And uh, saw this in just one play. The Big Play Men of the NFL, hosted by uh, Chad Johnson. Chad Ocho Cinco. Uh, and I saw this, this New York Giants, the catch, the Super Bowl, uh, that I watched with... Uh, one of my brothers when we used to live together in the Bronx and uh I bought it just for sentimental value really it was spent it was uh three dollars so uh there it is but all, in all this was a uh very good experience I spent uh, like I do in all my video game stores that I go to um well not my video game stores the stores that I go to uh way too much time uh because I try to be thorough as thorough as possible but if I'm very thorough then I'm going to be there all day uh but yeah, this is what I have. And uh, the owner was really nice. There was also um, a worker there. She was super nice as well. And uh, that's it. This is what I got. Definitely recommend it. They have a great selection. Not too much of a selection of the newer games like the PS5. Uh, they, I didn't see any PS5 games there. there. Uh, a lot of Nintendo games, Sega games, a lot of the retro games. Uh, and as I was walking away, somebody was coming in to uh, trade in their game. So they're still getting a new inventory of stuff. And I'm sure once the PS5 starts rolling a little bit more, so people start selling the games. Uh, more and more PS5 games, used games, might, might be showing up there. Uh, but they also have, and let me show you, because I think I showed you during the video, but I'll show you here. They gave me this, video game trading post. Buy, sell, trade, all over Long Island. East Village Green, Levittown, that's this one. The one that we're at right now there's one in the base uh south shore mall in bay shore uh they also have pinball a pinball arcade there uh, and it's a retro game store i'm going to check that one out next they got a um at the they got one at the broadway mall in hicksville and they got one at the tanger outlets in deer park so why don't we do this and have a little bit of a video game trading post video series uh we went to Levittown, so the next one is going to be the Bayshore one, and then it's going to be Hicksville, and then it's going to be Deer Park. Let's see which one I like best. Give it a little review. Cito, uh, and uh, that's about it. But that's it. That's my take for today. Hopefully, I'll find Burnout in one of these stores. Let's see. Or any PS Vita games. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I love you guys. I'm very thankful for the support. Again, I'm Leo. I'm Chewing Gum. Leo, I'm Chewing Gum on Twitter and on YouTube. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And uh, let me know if there's a video game store in New York or anywhere else that you might want me to visit and pay uh, close attention to. Would definitely like to go to North Carolina for the limited run game store. That would be nice, but we shall see. Guys, take care. Be safe and please stay healthy. Ciao.